PHP 8.5 was just released last week and naturally you are as curious as I am if it's faster than previous versions of PHP. My colleague Tim set out to test this with a benchmark for PHP 8.4 and comparing a Symfony, a Laravel and a WordPress demo applications against previous versions of PHP. Can you expect a big performance increase like from PHP 5 to 7 or is there no noticeable increase? In this video I am going to discuss our findings. Moin, I am Benjamin and my team and I work on PHP performance 24-7 for the last 10 years, helping thousands of developers along the way. Let's start discussing the benchmark results that Tim collected. You find all of them in our blog post, the link is in the description. First, the setup is always important. Uh, the blog post lists everything that went into this benchmark. So first you will find all the code that we use for our infrastructure provisioning and the demo applications. We used a Hetzner machine with eight dedicated virtual cores. We are using uh, the Debian 13 Trixie release uh, for a database, MySQL or SQLite, depending on the demo. And the, uh, one important factor is for PHP, we used um, the Suri um, packages built for Debian, um, including PHP 8.5 release candidate number three. For the PHP setup, we didn't change a lot. Uh, the JIT is not enabled and uh, PHP FPM is configured with a static pool of uh, 17 workers. The, for the project versions, we have Laravel version 12, Symfony 7.3, WordPress 6.8, and we used Vegeta for um, uh, doing performing the benchmark testing. As for our methodology, what we ran here is two different kinds of benchmarks. So we tested with a fixed request per second number so that we can focus on the response time of PHP um, with this fixed number of requests. And the second test we did is with a fixed level of concurrency to focus on the sort of throughput how many requests per second did we achieve by running this fixed level of concurrency. Uh, both tests run for about 60 seconds or for 60 seconds and then we compile these numbers and uh, generate charts from them. We try to make the test setup as simple as possible because we usually expect that you don't reconfigure PHP too um, broadly. So what we didn't want to test is um, PHP versions that are self-compiled or um, use very complex setup of the demo applications or PHP itself, because from experience, 95% um, of you will be running PHP on uh, more vanilla uh, configurations, the default configurations. So um, we wanted to replicate this kind of running PHP. Let's go through the results one by one. We are starting with Symfony and we are looking at the test scenario where we uh, run 100 requests per second, a fixed number of requests every second. And then we are looking at uh, the response times that we see from the uh, demo application. So for a Symfony application, we can see across versions PHP 8.2 to 8.5 that the response times are slightly slower for PHP 8.5 compared to 8.2 or 8.3, for example, in the mean. Uh, also, like super slightly slower in the median, 95 percentile and 99 percentile. This is not statistically uh, significant. So um, it is within the margin of error. Um, the numbers could statistically be the same. So there's really no difference in the performance between these versions if we um, perform this kind of test where we run a fixed number of requests um, against the Symfony application every second. For the second test for Symfony uh, running 15 concurrent users to find out how many requests is the application being able to process in a fixed time frame, we see that um, across all PHP versions it's around 500 requests and uh, again, it's within the margin of error, so um, it's not clear which version here is faster or not. They all seem to be equally fast. Same for the Laravel case. Uh, first, for the test with 100 requests per second, uh, testing the response time, we can see uh, in the mean, median, 95 and 99 percentile, 
are roughly the same. There seems to be one outlier for PHP 8.3 in the 99th percentile, but this is also not very big and um, self-corrected itself in the next, so in PHP 8.3. So in general, again here, I would say the performance for PHP 8.5 is the same than the previous versions 8.2 to 8.4. For Laravel, a case uh, with the scenario of 15 concurrent users making as many requests as possible in 60 seconds, we can also see here around 850 requests for this Laravel demo application, and it's the same uh, regardless of the PHP version. So again, it doesn't seem to be that uh, PHP 8.5 is generally faster than previous versions. As a third case, we've took WordPress, um, specifically also because it's possible to run WordPress still with PHP 7.4. So here we can test is there a performance difference between PHP 7.4 and all the PHP 8 versions, including 8.5? And for the test with 100 requests per second, we can see the performance is not really um, very different between these versions. Um, there is, within the margin of error, no real um, improvement between all these versions. So we can conclude that PHP 8.5 is also not faster for WordPress applications compared to previous versions. For our test with 15 concurrent users with WordPress, we, uh, this is the only case where we can see a small difference that there um, is outside of the margin of error. So we can see for PHP 8.3, 4 and 5, the number of requests that we can uh, achieve in a fixed time frame is a little bit larger than for PHP 7.4. So um, there is this difference between PHP 8 and PHP 7. But again, PHP 8.5 is not um, be uh, able to handle more requests per uh, time frame than PHP 8.4 or 8.3. What do these results mean in general? Uh, so we found out PHP 8.5 is not faster than PHP 8.4 or previous versions than PHP. So uh, the result that we already saw last year when we benchmarked PHP 8.4 is still true. PHP is at a very high level of performance for a dynamic uh, language and achieving general improvements is really hard at that point. Uh, to achieve changes, you actually need to look at the application and runtime level of PHP. What you can obviously do is check the performance of your PHP application in, uh, specifically. Are there SQL queries that are slow? Are you using APIs the wrong way? Maybe there are more modern APIs in PHP now that, you uh, that weren't available previously. Uh, we published a blog post on improvements in PHP 8.5 that will significantly improve the performance of specific use cases. But uh, you need to find if you are actually using PHP and using these APIs and are benefiting of, uh, from them. One thing I want to sp uh, note here is, for example, the persistent storage of curl state across uh, requests. Uh, this uh, will allow applications that talk to third-party APIs to um, improve the performance quite significantly with 8.5. You can find a blog post in the description uh, on, this, um, on, on the specific PHP 8.5 performance changes. A second change that is possible is uh, to re-architect the way you are using PHP. You can, for example, use Franken PHP or any other application server in PHP to um, save time bootstrapping PHP and reuse state across requests. You can um, move processing out to the background jobs using message queues and other um, patterns that allow you to reduce the time spent in the web server. So what is really possible to make a difference in application performance is in your hands. You are um, driving this change by building your application in a way that ends up being faster for users. If you like my content on PHP performance, you can uh, continue with this uh, video on PHP 8.5 changes in performance, or you can follow this channel or subscribe to our newsletter. Link is in the description. Bye.